Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to my Linux experiment. Gaming on Linux is now a reality. A ton of games work perfectly thanks to Proton, the XVK and Steam. Some games still aren't available through Steam though, and managing all the different sources and installing various games manually can be a pain. Fortunately, there is a handy application that allows you to group and launch all your games from a single interface and install new games with handy scripts that do all the work for you. It's called Lutris, and we're going to take a look at it right after this. Thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. For those who haven't heard about it, Skillshare is an online learning community which has plenty of courses on every single topic you could imagine. Whether you want to reinforce your skills in something you already know, learn something new for your job, or just dabble in a new hobby, Skillshare has something for everybody. Like, since we're talking about Linux, uh, you could try to become a Linux sysadmin, or just look at how to use the command line, or reinforce your knowledge of the Linux system architecture. There's plenty of stuff. I've been learning how to make better IRL videos, and even though I'm recording on a smartphone, I think I'm getting good results thanks to this uh, film lighting class that I've been taking. Now, Skillshare is simple and affordable to use. You can sign up for free, but if you want to delve deeper into your course or just use the offline videos, then you can subscribe for as little as $8 a month. If you want to give Skillshare a try, I'll leave a link down in the description below. The first 500 subscribers to click on the link will get two free months of Skillshare Premium, so you can try to improve your creativity and learn something new. Now, let's get back to the video. What is Lutris and what can it do? Lutris has been created in 2009 by Mathieu Commandant. He wanted an easier way to manage his games running on Linux, especially the ones that ran using Wine, and so he decided to create an Oblivion launcher first, which quickly evolved into Lutris. This program now has 167 contributors and more than 60 releases. But what is it? It's a game manager for Linux, which can pull games from various services like Steam, Humble or good old games, but also your games installed through Steam running with Wine, native Linux games, browser games or emulated ones. It's a little bit more than that though, since Lutris also allows you to install games directly from a huge online library of user-contributed scripts. These make installing games on Linux a breeze, especially those using Wine and that need tweaks, registry entries, or specific tools to run correctly. Lutris exposes tons of these settings to the user, to allow them to manage every little detail and make sure they can get all the performance they need to play. Lutris is available through PPA for Ubuntu-based distros and is in the repositories of Fedora, Solus, Arch, Manjaro, Clear Linux, and OpenSUSE. It's not on Flathub, but there is a beta Flatpak remote you can add to your system, so there really is no way you can't use Lutris on your distro of choice. Managing your games Lutris's first feature is to help you manage all your games and launch them from one place. Lutris uses different sources, called runners, to aggregate the games in one place. These runners include Steam for Linux, Steam for Windows, Humble, GOG, a ton of emulators, and more. All the games installed through these sources will be listed in your Lutris window and can be launched, uninstalled and tweaked from there. The easiest way to start using Lutris is by importing your games. Just open the Import Games menu and select the runner, for example Steam. You'll see all installed games and can import them one by one or all at a time. You can also automate this by automatically importing all games at startup. This makes it a breeze to get started. Once your games are there, and sometimes after restart of the app, you'll be able to manage them individually, play them, uninstall them, add a shortcut to your applications menu, or simply tweak anything you'd like to start the game itself. Lutris allows you to display games as a grid or a list, it can filter them, hide the uninstalled ones if you don't want to see these, and offers a dark theme if you prefer that. Two side panels can also be displayed, one to filter games through the runners they use, and one to display all the game's info and options. Each game will put in a banner automatically from the service it uses or from Lutris's game library. Installing new games This is the main second feature of Lutris, installing new games. Lutris has a huge online library of games that can be installed with a few clicks thanks to user-contributed scripts. Obviously, Lutris is no game store and you'll still need to own the game, a physical copy or the ISOs, to install them, apart from the free games you could download off the internet. You can install games either through the Lutris website or through the app itself. Just search for the game you want and it will display in the main window. From there, you can install it and Lutris will take care of all the setup. Installing the right Wine version, the right tweaks, creating the folder structure, enabling DXVK or whatever other tool the game needs to run. This makes Lutris particularly useful for installing Windows games. No need to run the installer through Wine, creating a new prefix, using Wine tricks to set some things up or running a few command lines. Lutris does it all for you. 
Some games will offer multiple installation options, either to install the game from various sources, like Steam or GOG, or to offer various install scripts that might work better or worse on your hardware. Lutris will display ratings for these scripts and some additional instructions you might need that Lutris can't handle itself, like installing dependencies. It's a good idea to read these instructions on Lutris's website or in the app to make sure you're not missing anything and that your game will run. Once the installer has started, you basically only have to wait and let it do its job. You can also tell Lutris to install the game to a specific folder, as by default it will create a games folder in your user's directory. It's also interesting to note that Lutris can install, in theory, any Windows program, even the various game launchers like Origin, Uplay, Battle.net or the Epic Games Launcher. These can all be installed, but Lutris can't pick individual games installed through these services, so any tweak or configuration made to allow the launcher to start is also applied to all the games you'll launch through it. For example, I have Borderlands 3 and The Outer Worlds on the Epic Games Store, but I can't launch them individually through Lutris, and all tweaks I make to the Epic Games launcher in Lutris will also apply to these games, so some games probably won't work right. Tweaking and configuration Lutris allows you to tweak a lot of settings for each game and runner. While games installed with a Lutris install script will need these, since they will apply them all for you, games you install manually or through Steam might benefit from a few tweaks here and there. For Steam games, you can check ProtonDB for user reports that list the various changes they made to make the game work, and while these can be daunting to do by hand, Lutris makes them super easy. You can enable or disable DXVK or VKD3D for DirectX games, you can enable Feral Game Mode, eSync, or even tell the game to run at a specific resolution or in a virtual desktop. You can also choose the wide version they'll use, and download new ones from the wide runner options. You can also change the game's banner, or run wine tricks or the wine config tool in the game's wine prefix directly, so you don't need to mess with any command line utilities, you can do everything graphically and easily. Features I'd like to see Lutris already does a ton of stuff, but here are some features I'd like to see next. First is the other Windows launcher support. If Lutris could pick individual games from the Epic Games launcher, Origin, Uplay or Battle.net, it would be fantastic and would allow more games to run without issues with their specific tweaks and settings. Second is adding support for the various game overlays like Mango HUD or G Overlay. This would allow to start the games with these performance overlays immediately available and make for a nicer experience for number nerds. Third is integrating some mod managers into Lutris, allowing the users to pick various mods to launch with the game without having to launch a dedicated mod launcher would be perfect, even though it would probably mean having to implement modding support game by game in Lutris directly. To conclude, Lutris is already the best Linux gaming tool available out there. It mixes the easy installs of Play on Linux with a very complete game library manager and all the settings you could ever need to make sure your games can start, whatever their source or the OS they're supposed to run on. If you're not already using Lutris and you're gaming on Linux, you should give it a try, it's really worth it. You can also contribute to the project through Patreon or donate directly with PayPal or LibraPay. And that's it for Lutris. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't hesitate to like, subscribe or turn on notifications. If you really did like the video, I have a Patreon page. I'll leave a link in the description below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!